Welcome back, everybody, to Funky Star TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, yes, we are back again um, to share this particular news story together. Uh, yesterday, Bola made it uh, don't already pitch the best he could. Critics, they criticize him in one hand, and in the other hand, some people won't be his followers. Then they praise him, they tell and say, Man, you do too well, you know, for even coming out at all to tell Nigerian people, say, You acknowledge what that they go through. It makes so much sense. So, like that, because you know, everybody cannot love you, and also, everybody cannot be hating you so life is like that hmm? uh, some people they love Tunubu and some people you know they say no this speech did not make any sense life is like that actually so but waiting bring us come here now waiting then they tell us about uh, Ex-President Muhammad Buhari and the Boko Haram. So we'll take a look. Eh? Uh, there is this uh, Buhari's uh, small surrogate, what they call uh, Basha Ahmed. Don't come out fully, can they defend his uh, former principal? Although we know, say, every single thing when APC, they tell all of us now, nah, why you? There is never a time when APC person or APC governor or APC government come out, come to tell Nigerian people the truth. Never a time. In everything, what did they do? Now, nah. why you? Buhari defeated Boko Haram, not good luck, Jonathan. As President Aids replies, Ndume. Ndume is from Bonu State. He's, uh, he's one of the uh, biggest politicians in Nigeria. Uh, a formidable politician from the north. He has a lot of um, altercations with uh, Buhari during uh, uh, Buhari's time. But this Buhari surrogate, what they call Basha Ahmed, uh, it be like seeing Ndume come and come claim, say, na good luck, Jonathan, na him, clear Boko Haram people. But Bashar Ahmed said, no, no, no. Say, my master, informal boss, won't be uh, former president uh, Muhammadu Buhari. Former A to S president Muhammadu Buhari, Bashar Ahmed, don't come and come, they tell us, say, Boko Haram, say, they was, uh, they was largely and technically defeated when ex president left office ahmed they make this claim said the boko haram say that they control 17 local government areas in bonu state when buhari took over power the former presidential aide when we bash ahmed in the react to comments by bonu south senator Ali Ndume, when attempt to credit former President Goodluck Jonathan for decimating Boko Haram people. Posing on S, Ahmed pointed out that the most part of Bonu, Adamawa, and the Yobi state were inaccessible due to the activities of terrorism. According to Ahmed, he said it is very, very hilarious when he read a report in the Daily Trust when Senator Ali Ndume from Bonu State 
the attempt to credit former President Gullo Jonathan for defeating Boko Haram. Why history is often one of the easiest thing to, to be rewritten in Nigeria. This particular one will be very, very difficult to change. Uh, Ahmed stress. He said it is day well documented that when President Buhari took office in 2015, 17 local government areas in Bonu states were under full control of the terrorist group. Large part of the state, including the senator's hometown, with areas in Yobe and Adamawa were inaccessible when even by the security agencies at that time. Um, critical infrastructures like airport, school, hospital, market, and many government facilities were all shut down by the time President Buhari left office in 2023. Boko Haram had largely been defeated and technically become a thing of the past. So now this one, when uh, the Buhari surrogate the 10 Nigerian people, about the fight against Boko Haram. Say, now Buhari be the man when we say now he defeat the Boko Haram people. Not be good luck, Jonathan. And say make uh, Ali Ndume desist from uh, saying that good luck, Jonathan was the one that defeated Boko Haram. So, uh, my question to. Uh, Ahmed, a very small question because uh, we not see anywhere when they defeat any Boko Haram people. As we speak, Boko Haram people looms even larger than before under present uh, 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 under these two presidents, one be Buhari and. Uh, the man in power today will be um, Bola American. So make on a stop to the light to Nigerian people. There is no time when on a defeat Boko Haram. There is no time when Boko Haram, when anybody technically defeat Boko Haram. The, today, the history, the things when we hear about Boko Haram and terrorism in Nigeria is far worse than the way we are used about them before. So, during Buhari's time, Boko Haram, they loom large. During uh, this present uh, administration, Boko Haram, then they loom larger. So, a lot of things, they happen. So, remember, Otunubu don't tell us, say, make una a side patient. Say, nothing, they Happen. We will take a look on this one again. We will see the game where the one play about uh, the former governor of Zamfara. Remember, Matawili, na former governor of Zamfara, when they accuse, say, in loot a lot of money, and the man, na the guy, when they behind terrorists, when I met the tell us, say, uh, their team, say, na them be the best, and say, na present. Uh, uh, former President uh, Muhammad Buhari eh, finish up with uh, the Boko Haram people. Whereas Boko Haram people, at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, they are still looming large. EFCC received petition from APC Group against former Zamfara state governor. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission when the EFCC, they tell us say they don't receive a petition from a political pressure group, the All Progressive Congress, APC, Akinde Forum, AAF, when they take the demand, the probe of the former governor of Zamfara State, Bello Matawele. The group of protesters stormed the headquarters of the anti-graft 
body on Monday. So remember, even Matawele himself, according to their clip, is still an APC member, a corrupt politician. When they does that, they, they supposed to don't remove him the first, the very first day when Nigerian people know say Matawele Nahim be the leader of the bandit people in the northern part of Nigeria. Now them be the, now Matawele them be the people when they profit on this particular dangerous elements what they call terrorism addressing the placards wedding group EFCC spoke person Dele Oyewole said that the chairman would give adequate attention to the petition of the group. Oye Wali, who commended the group for being peaceful in its protest, stated that the commission has respect for the people's constitutional right to protest and held public officers accountable. Earlier, this particular group, while submitting a petition to the EFCC against the former governor, they can't decry the commission's delay in taking actions after the first petition is submitted five months ago on the same matter. Chairman of AAF, Malamusa Muhammadu, said the group had suspected about 395 billion naira in each petition which the former governor should account for. Oh my gosh, this one case. It can't look like seeing nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Yabelo looted 80 billion naira while then they accused Matawele the former governor of Zamfara State, the leader of the terrorist people, of making away with 395 billion, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of money. And the tell us the money not in Nigeria. And the people they hungry. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you get anything concerning uh, this particular news hmm, about uh, Buhari defeating Boko Haram and about this matter, will it? Come let us know on our comment section. One love and bye.